Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. What if we told you there is something common between the light bulb in your room and a welding machine, apart from the fact that they both use electricity? You'd probably laugh and shrug us off, right? The incandescent bulbs in our rooms use heated tungsten filaments to generate light. The bulbs are filled with inert gases like argon and nitrogen to slow down the degradation of the metal. The same metal is used in a type of welding procedure called gas tungsten arc welding or TIG welding. The word TIG stands for tungsten inert gas welding and more than often it is called gas tungsten arc welding. This process uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode to produce the weld. This type of welding is mostly used to weld thin sections of stainless steel and non-ferrous metals such as aluminium, copper and magnesium. It is much easier to control the TIG welding process compared to other welding procedures like shielded metal arc welding and gas metal arc welding. The construction and the components used for the TIG welding are somewhat similar to the ones used for manual metal arc welding. We have an AC or DC power source which has provisions to vary the value of current and voltage used. One end of the power terminal is clamped to the workpiece and the other end is connected to the torch. The torch used in this process is much different from the other arc welding processes. A non-consumable tungsten electrode is connected to the power source. Inert gas is pumped from a separate container through the openings. The main reason tungsten is used here is due to its very high melting point of 3410 degrees Celsius. To strike a welding arc, the torch is brought close to the workpiece. Usually, a knob on the handle or a foot pedal is provided to initiate current flow. Due to the voltage difference and the flowing of high current, an arc is struck between the tungsten electrode and the workpiece. The arc creates a bridge for the electrons to flow, causing the air trapped in between to ionize. This is the reason why we get a bright blue light. The electric arc generates very high temperatures which can be used to melt the metal and fuse them together by welding. In some cases, a filler material is used to create a weld bead. This flexibility to either use or not use the filler is not present in many welding processes. A DC power source is used for TIG welding in most cases as the majority of the heat is on the workpiece instead of the tungsten electrode. However, DC is not used when welding metals like aluminium. This is because aluminium has a higher tendency to form oxides when molten. This reduces the weld quality. To avoid this, AC current is used for metals like aluminium. The primary reason behind this is that in AC welding, the majority of the heat is developed on the tungsten electrode and not on the workpiece. This lowers the chances of oxides being formed on the workpiece surface. This is also the reason why the inert gas is used. By flushing the entire weld area with inert gas, formation of metal oxides is prevented. The gas is generally stored in high pressure containers. Their flow is controlled with the help of regulator valves. The TIG welding is mostly used in places where extremely high precision welding is required. 